got the puck in the defensive end. Looking to set up offensively. Dumps it into the other end. Picked up along the wall by Marino. Plays the puck up ahead. Throws it in. The Ducks scoop it up along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Brink. And he takes the dish. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Quick pass across to Kerfoot. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. And loses possession after a solid hit. Great heads up play by the defender. Look at this. Let's it go. Oh my goodness, what a save there. Anaheim's got a hold of it along the wall. And that's turned aside by Vanelka. Shot. Monster save by Vanelka. They are really starting to apply the pressure here in the offensive end. play as the goaltender covers things up. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still looking for our first goal. Rossi's won it in their own end. Battling for it along the boards. Off a stick and they can't connect. Now a quick pass to Power. Gaining momentum up along the side. Gets the puck in deep. Utah's gained possession along the boards. Quick feed to Michelli. Utah's on the attack. Sends the pass down low. Scooped up along the wall by Michelli. And now it's grabbed by Power. They've got numbers. Handles the puck. And he's knocked off the puck there. The Ducks have it from the corner. Moves it around along the half wall. Quick shot. Oh, what a close save there. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. More than half the period has expired. We're still scoreless. Michaels won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Shuts him down. Anaheim's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Puck scooped up by Hayton. Sends it in deep. Anaheim's got the puck. Utah's gonna play it from the corner. Oh, a clutch save! All the young goaltenders out there, work on your skating. That's a push that saves a goal. Poked away in the offensive end. Utah's got possession of the puck. Devastating collision into the boards. Power forwards can be so difficult to contain. Why? Because you can hear them coming, James. They have the ability to deliver bone-crushing hits. The Ducks move to the offensive zone. Too much congestion in front. Sends the pass over. Moves the puck into the attacking area. And that pass attempt is deflected. Utah's got a hold of the puck now. Oh, what a save in front. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. With possession along the wall. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And that's blocked in traffic. Krause takes it through the middle of the ice. Sends the puck across. Scores! What a beautiful play as they catch their opponent flat-footed on transition and they create the numerical advantage. Odd man rush, perfectly executed. Speed, puck movement, and of course, finish. Utah's finally pushed through and they get the first goal here late in period number one. Sometimes at the end of a period, you know the intermission is coming, you know you're getting rest, and all of a sudden the tempo and the urgency increases, and that's what I saw this last shift and the reason they scored that goal. Here's a shot from the wall. No room for that one to get through. The Ducks take it across the line. Takes the puck. And he can't hang on after that hit. 
Taken by Schmaltz. Moves it quickly over to Falamaki. Takes it to the net. Denies him. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. Keller's lugging the puck. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. They score! And that's back-to-back -back goals! Well, nothing like switching momentum and putting your opponent on their heels than getting two in a row back-to-back. -back. Here they come. Well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. Utah's extended their lead to two here in the late stage of this opening frame. What a period. Yeah, an incredible period. They've had momentum, and they've really held possession in the play. They've worked hard on the puck and to be supportive of the puck, and it's a reason why they've generated opportunities, James. They just need to come out with that same fire in the second. Gains the zone along the right wall. Period number one in the books. First intermission entertainment is on deck here. You can also have time to go grab a drink, grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with period number two in moments. Are you looking to impress in your next group of fans? Then one of our luxury boxes with great news. Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Utah's had an impressive start to this game. Now they're heading into the second period. It's a bit of an ice tilt in the first. So they want to continue that in opening up lanes. The biggest thing about that is when you open up lanes, you've got to attack and drive. You've got to know exactly when to shoot the puck, and they've been doing it so far in this game. believe it. Anaheim's looking to break out. Great reach with the stick by Gunther. Dishes it off. 
Moves it to Marino. There's the collision, and look who's hit again. Well, he's been a punching bag tonight, James. He's going to have to find a way to get out of the way. They've got some momentum here. Oh, what a close save by Pavelka. Lots of time left in this period. Anaheim's trailing by one. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Takes a hit, but still hangs on to the puck. Takes the feed. And here's the pass to Johns. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Well, he's showing off his skill set, trying to make a silky move around the defender, but he gets denied. Puck picked up by Sergachev. Uses the force on that hit. Anaheim's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Feeds it on over to Pacelli. And now it's grabbed by Niskanen. Now the puck's on his stick. He's still waiting for his first. Will he get it today? There's the whistle. Let's get the call for the officials. Tough spot to be in. You need momentum, and you give it back by going on the PK when you're trailing by one. Power play unit comes out for the faceoff. Getting their first power play opportunity in the game. And here comes the top power play unit in the league. They're so dangerous and effective. It is extremely difficult to fend against them. Hooked away by Jersey. Angles it over to Michelli. Moves it to the middle. It scores! What an opportunity! That's exactly how the coach would have drawn it up, James. I mean, you move the puck around the outside to disrupt the coverage. You open up the middle of the ice, and then you get a glorious shot chance, and you capitalize. Excellent work. Utah's on a roll tonight. Now they've extended the lead to two. They're on a roll, and you can see it in their body language, the way they're communicating on the bench. When you're winning and you're feeling it, everything's alive. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Turned aside with the glove. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Krause is all around the puck, or the puck is all around him. Look at it whichever way you want, but when you have a point streak going, it tends to follow you around. Anaheim's got possession here in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Handles the pass. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Darlene. Drives to the sweet spot. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Utah has been working hard away from the puck, and they're using their awareness to take away angles and seams. And this is something they're doing with their stick positioning. Coach talked about it pregame, how important it was going to be. Here's the chance on the attack. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Coles moving the puck through his own zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Takes it across the blue line. Takes a shot. Nice save from point blank range. Does a great job with some great... And there it is. Number one of the season. That's a great way to alleviate pressure and expectations early, James. You get on the board, and guess what? You hope that the floodgates really open. That puck comes off a six so fast, the goalie can't get a read on it. It's in the back of the net.
The Ducks needed that, Cheryl, and they seem to have some life now. Well, they've shortened the deficit, and there's nothing better to get you back in the game than one goal to put themselves on their toes. But again, they're going to have to have an attack mentality if they want to get an equalizer. Puck scooped up by Power. Dumps it into the Ozone. Moves the puck. Utah's through center and now in the offensive end. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. Throws it right onto the tape. Turns it away. Handing on to the biscuit after that. Big time stop there. Well, that's a picture-perfect save, James. It's getting to position and getting square to the puck, and the only way it happens, if he reads the play. Niskanen's got it against the boards. And he slides it quickly to Enroth. Shot! Tremendous athletic stop with the glove by Pavelka! Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time, and man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. Past the midway mark of the frame, the Ducks make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. Quick feed to Michael. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. Takes a lot, but still hangs on. Tries to feed it over to Schmaltz. Taken along the wall by Johns. And now it's over to Michael. Michelli's got it in the defensive end. Sends it over to Schmaltz. Great use of the stick at center by Niskanen. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. And a little body contact on that play. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. The Ducks gain control of the puck. Anaheim's in transition. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Sends it in on the attack. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Utah's got the puck. Stenland's taking it from his own end. And he takes the pass. Utah's got the puck against the boards. Sends it down low. Feeds it over. Back to the blue line. And it's a quick pass to Pacioretty. And he avoids the poke check with some great edge work. Shot! Turned aside with the glove by Pamelka! In the final moments of this period, Utah's got a 3-2 lead at this point. Moves along the boards with some purpose. Shot! And a great save! The Ducks gain possession along the wall. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Utah's won the draw, now let's see what they can do with it. The coach and team reminding each other that this is a critical face-off. Anytime you've got your opponent on their heels after an icing, you have to find a way to have urgency in attack. And a great save! And now he moves it quickly to Gunther. Steps inside. Grabbed along the board by Gunther. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. play in the books. Both teams will get one last chance to catch their breaths, and then it's on to period number three next. Welcome back to EA Sports, your home for all things hockey. Sabalski, Pounder, and here comes the third. And this one's underway here in the third. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Oh, he's going to feel that the rest of the game. They are wearing down their opponents with hits like that. 
and tries to make a diagonal pass to Richards. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Richards trying a little bit too much here. You know that he's a creative player, he's aggressive, and that puck's on his stick. He likes to attack a little too much here, and he loses the puck. Hammers it on there! Scores! The rookie's got it! He has his first goal! Nothing so impressed with this young man. I mean, he's got elite skill set, and he finds the back of the net for his first of the NHL. There's going to be more to come, James. James, it looks like it's redirected, and that's just beautiful timing and get the hands away from the body, be able to get it to go the opposite direction of the goaltender. Well, a special moment for that young rookie, and now he's got to find a way to try to calm those nerves. Uh, it's going to be tough because the adrenaline is going to be a flow in. You know, when he was a young child, he probably thought about this moment over and over. And now that it's happened, probably a little surreal. So it's going to take some time here to just embrace the moment, get back out there, oh, and try and do it again. Looks to set up at the point now. And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. Lots of time left in this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Utah's got the win off that draw. And he sends it across to Kraus. And that's hooked away. Feeds it to Champion. Avoids the poke check. Oh, what a stop with the glove by Pamelka. I love that he swallowed this one up with his glove. It's a real threat coming from the slot area. No rebound to boot. Moments away from the faceoff. Let's get back to the action. The Ducks will go to work here in the offensive zone. Plays the body into that play. And now he moves it to Gunther. Along the half wall with the puck. Blocked in traffic. Moves it quickly over to Darlene. And he pops it up with the pass. Utah's got a hold of it along the wall. Anaheim's got possession at center. And the play continues. Utah's looking to break out of their own end. And that pass is redirected. Here's a short pass to Marino. Strips inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Heads to the back of the net. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Kesselring. Poked away in the neutral zone. Gets the puck in deep. Sends a pass over. Passes it to Kerfoot. There's the whistle stopping the play. And we get a better sense of what happened down there. Penalty coming up here. Well, the officials aren't going to let this go on, James. There's going to be coincidental calls here. No harm, no foul, though. Both of them are going to the box. A nice little break for the defenseman here. One less forward to deal with as we have some four-on-four -four hockey on tap. Four on four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Quick pass to Darlene. And now he tries to get it across to Silverberg. Cuts to the front. And he was ready for that save. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Utah's gained possession along the boards. And now he angles it across to Dursey. Cuts into the paint. Gets it over to Richards. Anaheim's in on the offensive attack now. Utah's got control of it now from their own end. Play blown dead, let's get the call. The Ducks will serve two for slashing.
They had success earlier in the overload set on the power play, James. I expect that they'll walk right back into it if they can win the faceoff. You know that you got to be heavy along the wall. You know you're set up on one side of the ice, but the key is the puck movement. You have to move it quick. You have to pull the coverage outside the dots, and then you have to look to work. James being aggressive and anticipating an active stick and getting on your horse and creating opportunity when you're on the PK. This is such an impressive goal, James. He's in a tight space and he knows exactly where his opponent is and those silky mitts, they're put to work. You know how often he's practiced on those. He makes his move not once, twice, multiple times to be able to bury it. The Ducks with a huge goal here in this third period. Now buckle up and can they hang on? Oh, I think it's more than hanging on, James. They've got to continue to attack and they've got to manage the puck. I mean, yes, it's the third period. There's a lot of runway left here. It's only a one-goal game. And somehow he hangs on. And he slides it quickly to Niskanen. Knocked off the puck. Huge steal in his own end. And the puck leaves the zone. Nice speed if center moves up ahead now. Good defensive stop at the poke check. Utah's got possession here in the offensive zone. Johns is falling to the ice and stays with the puck and able to get the puck across to the shooter for a great scoring chance. That's an unbelievable play, James. Gets it out of his own end. Utah's got the puck along the boards. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Grabs the puck here in their own end. The Ducks will play it from the defensive zone. They move the puck out of harm's way. Oh, Smart heads up play to put that one away. Scooped up along the wall by Bugstad. The Ducks scoop it up along the boards. One on one with the goaltender. Here we go. Sends it quickly to Stedland. Looking to make something happen along the boards. They score! Putting it home on the power play, and we have even things up here tonight. Right from the beginning of that power play, James, there just was a confidence about them. The way they own the puck, the precision in the movements, the motion in the offensive zone, and they cash in to tie this game. Playing the win here now. They have tied it up here in the third. You said it, James. They're not sitting back. They're attacking. And this is urgency that often presents itself late in the game. You wonder why you didn't start that way. But you can certainly finish it. And they win that draw at center. Lays into the body. Here's a shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. Back to the point it goes. Puck grab by Nash. Nice zone entry from the right side. Moves it to Falamaki. The Ducks get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Oh, what a blocker stop by Pamelka! <laughs> Past the halfway mark of this period, we got a tie game. The Ducks will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Shuts them down. Right through center and into the offensive zone. And makes the save. Here's a shot, and that's off target. He can certainly be disappointed with his finishing touch there, James, but a lot of good work put into the fight for position to get to that area in the first place. Hayton's really laboring out there. Looks like he's going to make it to the bench, but he's struggling to finish this shift. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Anaheim's won the draw. And he gets in front of that. 
Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Boston's coming up next on the schedule. And these two teams, doesn't matter where they are in the schedule, where they are in the standings, always a good contest. I'm looking forward to that. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Here's the pass. Only comes up with a stop. Takes the feet at the back end. Slides it across. Oh, and the stick falls on the play. Well, and that's a tough one, James, when you're in a prime scoring area and you have to get back to the bench as quick as possible. So you go from being there and then being at the bench. The worst. Oh, they forced the turnover. Here we go. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here now in the Ozone. We got a stoppage as the puck sails over the glass. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Michaels won the draw, and they're on the attack. Quick feed to Johns. Shuts it down. Picked up along the boards by Niskanen. Passes it over. Fires it on net. Brilliant save. Run it perfectly. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a face-off. for the puck along the boards. The Ducks gain control of the puck against the wall. Oh, and it just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Takes the feed from the left side. Kraus looks around. Quick shot! And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Oh, look at this! Well, a great A scoring chance taken away from the inner slot because he's so aggressive and gets to the top of his crease. Feeds it over. The Ducks will play it from the point. Here's a short pass to Darlene. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Nice feed from the right wing. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. The Ducks look to start the transition game. Great read by Jersey. Here's another hit on the play. He's going to feel terrible tomorrow, James. Over and over again, he's been throttled. And that's knocked away. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Chris is able to make that save look easy. Oh, hold on, James. Looks like there's going to be a call right there. Let's see what the officials are calling. The coach's responsibility is to keep them focused here. They got a job to do. They got to kill this penalty off late in the third. I mean, it's a tie game. They got to get it done. Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1 3 1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. The Ducks take possession here inside the offensive zone. Big time stop there. Fans are urging for a shot. Scores! And they've gone in front thanks to the power play goal. Well, it's all about manipulating the PK, and that's what they did so well to take advantage of that opportunity. Oh, this is why you play the game, James. Dying seconds of the third period, and you get the go-ahead goal. That could be the game winner right there, and they're certainly celebrating like it is. The Ducks are looking to protect the lead here late in this third period as they have been the dominant offensive club. Slices 
one here in center. There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. Well, after this one, partner, can we call this a heater now? We can call it a heater. Anytime you're in the ring column multiple games in a row, James, you know that everyone is feeling it. They're calling it a heater as well. Why? They're putting pucks in the net. No matter what they do, they're getting pucked up as well. Thanks so much for taking time out of your schedule to join us tonight. For all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. See ya.